Okay, hi everyone. We are here today to examine the various uh, conditions related to the tilting of the cardboard. In order to understand this demonstration, we need to know a few terminologies. For the whiteboard, where will the center of gravity be? Okay, the center of gravity will be here. Okay. Um, okay, the arrow here represents the line of weight for the cardboard, which is always pointing downwards. Okay, due to uh, the force of gravity pointing towards the center of the Earth. And when we tilt the cover to the right, okay, the point of contact between the box and the floor is the pivot. Okay, we have mentioned all the relevant terms for this demonstration. We are now ready to begin. Okay, we will be examining three different conditions that are related to the tilting of the cardboard. First, we will give a push such that it will have a slight tilt to the right as shown. Take note that the line of weight is on the left of the pivot. What will happen to the subsequent motion of the cardboard? To know the answer, we will have to look at the direction of the moment. The line of weight will fall inside the base of the cardboard. We can see that there will be a net anti-clockwise moment about the pivot, so that the object will return to its original position. Okay, now we will give the uh, board a further push such that the line of weight is exactly in line with the pivot. Okay, in this case, what will happen? Okay, there will be no moment about the pivot so the object remains where it is. Okay, next we will be tilting the board until the line of weight is beyond or outside the base of the cardboard as shown. What is the motion of the board? There will be a net clockwise moment about the pivot and the cardboard wheel topple. This is because the line of weight is now outside the base of the board beyond the pivot as shown. The pivot is here. Okay, right now we're going to examine the height of the center of gravity for the three conditions that we have mentioned. Okay, uh, we'll see which condition will give us the highest position in the center of gravity. Okay, let's look at the first condition where the line of weight is within the base of the board. Okay, take note of the rise in the height. Okay, now we're going to Go to the second condition where the line of weight is exactly in line with the pivot. Okay, take note of the the increase in height or any changes in the height. And the third one is where the line of weight is beyond the pivot of outside the base of the cardboard. Okay, again take note of the change in the height. Notice that the when the line of weight is beyond the pivot, outside the 
outside the base of the board, the uh, the height of the center of gravity is at the highest. Okay, and this is also the condition where the object topple. So we can draw a conclusion here is that the higher the center of gravity, the less stable the board will become or the more likely the board will topple.